Welcome to your weekly messages from your angels and your higher self with me, Julie Poole. And if this is your first time here, welcome. If you like what you see, please subscribe, click the little bell so you don't miss anything. All the cards that I use are listed in the description below. And we start with messages from your higher self, which I use the tarot cards for. And then I go on to messages from your angels. So stay tuned right to the end so you don't miss a thing. Now let's dive right in. Hi Gemini, how are we doing this first full week of March? So this is your messages from your angels and your higher self from the 5th to the 11th. Well, wow, you've got an amazing week coming up and you deserve it because it looks like there's been some struggle going on, okay? This is the card, let's look at this, five of wands reversed. Conflict, fighting, arguing, discourse, unpleasantness, hard work all of that argy bargy arguing it's not nice but many of you and this obviously won't apply to all of you many of you have been going through conflict either externally with others or internally within yourself and it has really left you quite what's gone on here <laughs> all right it's been a tough week but i'm loving this we are we're off Okay, the Seven of Swords. So I'm taking my swords and I'm going. I don't need this. I don't need this drama. I don't need this chaos. I'm taking my swords and I'm off. Okay, he's taking five swords. So he's leaving two behind. So basically, what that means is I'm taking the learning. I'm taking the growth, and now I'm moving away from that conflict and drama because I don't need it. And I. I'm just not having it. I'm off. Okay. Now, this isn't necessarily about leaving people or anything like that or leaving a job. It's about saying, I'm not going to get involved in the drama. I was, all right, because we're coming into the week with this energy. Um, for some of you, it might still be going on a little bit. But we get to the point where we say, why, why am I getting involved in all this drama? This isn't helping me. This isn't serving me. This isn't any good for me. I'm not going to get involved. And you're stepping away, okay, with that seven of swords. And this is great because we've then got the death card, which is, that's the endings. Death is endings. That's done. It's finished. We're not going back there. We're not getting involved in that again so whatever this conflict was for you could be to do with work could be a relationship could be anything where you are in that internal external conflict that you've stepped away by the end of the week and said nope done okay this is absolutely closing that door on that drama now if this is a relationship then you have it could be a friendship or a romantic relationship that you have stepped away from taking your bits with you and gone well done because we don't need that drama and toxicity in our life and it's done for you and for some of you this could be a repeated pattern where you've seen that you've seen hang on this keeps happening why am i putting up with this and you say no enough I'm not doing it anymore and we have that situation now finished it's absolutely finished when we've got the death card, which is wonderful. Okay. Now, what I'm feeling for some of you, it might have a little bit of residual energy for a few days. Don't forget, when we really move away from something, some people can act up. All right. They can up the ante. And if they do, just let them get on with it. It'll go away. Okay. Don't get involved. We're doing that death card because then we are coming into the world. Ah, oh, this is just the most wonderful card. Probably one of the best in the deck. All right, this is saying, look, the world can open up for you now. You can never embrace the world when we're in all that toxicity and drama. Uh, it drains you. It warps your perspective. The world and life looks pretty hard work. But actually, we get it go, let it go. We start to realise how wonderful life is when we haven't got that drama and toxicity around us, how beautiful life is. And we start to open up ourself and our life to the world. We are starting to expand and be able to feel free and say, right, the world's my oyster. I can start really opening this up now. It's great. This is such a strong and powerful card. It's wonderful. Now let's have a look what your angels want to add. So they're saying, look, 
This is about you moving towards the light. Now, let's remember that what is darkness? That's negativity and fear and discourse and all of the all of the heavy stuff and the light is all the positive empowering liberating stuff so moving towards the light this is what you're doing this week guys you're moving away from the toxicity and the discord and the drama and you are moving into a much more peaceful place within yourself and within your environment and then behind that this is great we've got the source of life now, if you look at the card, the way the water is pouring down, this is the flow of life. This is energy as well. This is connection, connection within yourself and the universe, connection with others. Everything is really flowing. We're getting back into the source of life. The, the, think of what does source mean, the source of a river. It's the beginnings. It's the beginning where everything grows from. So you are starting to really open up now. This is wonderful. We're getting rid of all of that nasty stuff and we're coming into our own. So, wow, well done, Gemini. This pleases me because I've got a Gemini moon. Um, and so, yeah, this is going to be relevant for me too. And it's always worth you checking out your moon and rising as well as your sun sign. When you see the three together, it really does help give a much more all-round picture. And don't forget to check out your monthlies as well. And I will see you next week for more messages from your angels and your higher self. Take care. Bye.